So Vincent, uh, Hewlett Packard has taken a big write down on its uh, acquisition of autonomy. Uh, where does the story start? Well, I think it all begins actually with uh, the price that Hewlett Packard paid for autonomy last year, $11 billion for the UK um, software company. I think everybody involved in autonomy and you know, shareholders, analysts who had covered it for years, um, and I think in the city generally the, the view was that's an astron astronomical sum to pay for autonomy. Um, and it was a big premium to its share price at the time. Um, and uh, it's now seeming to go horribly wrong. It is. They, they, they've taken a, a big write down on their acquisition of autonomy. Obviously, yeah. trading hasn't been uh, what they expected. And, and the accounts seemingly weren't what they expected either. That, I mean, that must have been. Uh, they obvious at the time because uh, you know for a good while there were people following autonomy closely analysts from the city who were you know who, who had questions over the sort of the, the the sustainability of its numbers and the, the you know what lay behind them it can't revenue have been recognition used. was a particular concern yeah recognition was was a bit was a big concern so I don't think it can really be a, a terrible surprise it's astonishing that Hewlett Packard's only discovering this now it is it is and uh, obviously there'll be a lot more legal action to, to come. What, what do you think this means for, for autonomy and its position within Hewlett Packard? Well, I mean, clearly they've written down the value by an enormous amount. I think it's about 80% of the value has been, has been written down. Um, and they're still apparently very interested in the software that, uh, that autonomy provides. I mean, Hewlett Packard is in a bit of a mess anyway. And this is the mm -hmm. second uh, big write down it's had to make on a big acquisition in the last four or five years because it did something similar with EDS, you know, after it bought it in uh, 2008. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, Hewlett Packard is, is the sort of uh, the dinosaur of Silicon Valley, really. It's, it's a hardware company in a software world. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an enormous blow to its prestige in, in thinking that it knows what the software business is like, I think. Mm. And it's, it's difficult to, to, to glean just now to, to what extent the problems it, it's reporting on underlying problems in the business and to what extent they are problems that came with autonomy or as, uh, as a result of what it alleges mm. are um, accounting problems within autonomy. Absolutely, yes. And, and you know, I think that it, there's a general question mark now over the strategy that HP is applying. Um, Meg Whitman, the, 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 the relatively new CEO, has a very big job because the, the, the CEO who actually bought autonomy has gone. Um, but Meg Whitman is there and she has a very tough job now to sort of realign the company and to get beyond this real blow to the company's strategy and to its credibility. Mm. Indeed, and we should mention that Mike Lynch, the, the now departed Chief Executive of Autonomy, has denied any wrongdoing within the accounts. Mm. He says it was all absolutely uh, above board. Absolutely, but yeah. uh, this will be, uh, if nothing else, great news for the lawyers, and uh, we'll wait to see what they have to say next. Vincent, thank you very much.